It's a beautiful morning out here for sure. Absolutely gorgeous. But we need to go back inside for a pack and ship video. Simple sales for good profit. Welcome to Avante Avenue. I'm Vicki and I have a pack and ship video for you today. What are we packing today? Something I've never packed before. Keep watching. This pretty amber glass sherry decanter with cordial glasses. Yes, it says four, but I actually shipped six. Paid $2 at a church rummage sale, and it sold on offer for $30 plus shipping. I'm using foam wrap to wrap these, and I've cut this one sheet in half. I think a half a sheet will work. You just tuck this in, pull it to the end a little bit, tuck that down, fold that up, and just give it a roll. A little bit of masking tape. Make sure it's flattened and then tuck this inside. I think that's going to work just fine. Okay, I'll repeat that for the rest of the glasses. Three down, three to go. Of course, I'll need more protection than just foam wrap. Foam wrap is to help protect the finish and give one light layer of padding. Now I'm going to go to another layer for uh, some protection. I think I'm going to use small bubble wrap. I'm going to try a half sheet. It's a small bubble wrap, and the link is in the description below the video. Make sure your tape is pressed down. And when this goes in the box, there'll be some large bubble wrap. And that's what I'm going to do for the other five. have all six done. Now I need to tackle the decanter. I do. This is a really pretty bottle and as you saw I only paid two dollars for this entire set. I am going to wrap the stopper separately. It's a little piece of foam wrap and I'm pretty certain a half sheet will do on this as well. I'm going to kind of start from the corner and roll it on the diagonal. I can feel, you know, the stopper comes to a point, but I'm still going to fold this down and I think tape this all the way to conform it, kind of shape it around the stopper. I don't smell any brandy and we'll give this a little foam wrap as well. Now, the neck. You know I like to protect the neck a little bit better than some small bubble wrap, half sheet. I think I'm going to fold it in thirds today and wrap this around. Give that some extra protection. Actually, I'm kind of concerned about the bottom too. I'm concerned about all of it. What can I say? Let's do this in thirds. Do the same thing around the bottom. Is it going to reach? Yes, it will. Good. All right, now let's wrap it in some foam wrap. Now we're going to give this some large bubble wrap. Because it's hollow and I couldn't put anything inside, I'm going to wrap it and roll it in two sheets. I need a little longer piece of tape. A little longer piece of tape for the ends. And I want to make sure I feel around and make sure there's no... Now this is where the seam is and I can feel that that's not really protected there. So when I put it in the box, I should probably put it in like this. Or I can add some extra bubble wrap here. I think I'll do that. So let's put it on its side. Let's bring this up over. I think that's pretty good. I can't feel any of the edges of the bottle. There's an edge to a round bottle. Put these in a shoe box so they wouldn't fall off the table. Now I just, just need to figure out what size box I need. Pretty certain I can use a 12 by 12 by 8 USPS box, so that's what I'm going to get. I forgot to wrap this in bubble wrap. I'm going to use three quarters of a sheet of large half inch bubble wrap. All right, so now this is what I have. I'll put my thank you label on the decanter and go get a box. I'll be right back. This is a USPS box, box number seven. I call it 12 by 12 by eight. I'll get it assembled. 
I have some air pillows. I found that four and four seems to work pretty good in the bottom of these boxes. But I'm still going to add some bubble wrap. I'm cross laying a couple of sheets, two sheets each direction. Let's get the decanter in first. And then I'll just fit the glasses in. And then the stopper. I do need to fill up the corners. I think I'll use more air pillows for that. I'm going to try two in the corner, lifting up just a little bit, sliding down. Again, lifting up a little, tucking those in. It's getting tighter. And I've got to watch this corner. This is the corner that I had to tape. You know how I tape the corners? I'm trying to go with one here. So let's try one. And I think I want to put some on each side, at least one or two. These are naturally not filled completely with air. It's intended that they have the ability to compress slightly. Otherwise, they would just pop. Let's put some bubble wrap in here. Now, I think I can put an air pillow, one on each side. Maybe, maybe not. All right, these are different heights, so that's why I'm adding four bubble wrap here. I think I can finish off with either air pillows or bubble wrap. I think three is going to do it. I think I'll use three air pillows and one sheet, final sheet of large bubble wrap. I did put my thank you label on there, so I'm good to go. Pull it together, tight, as much as you can. Press down your tape. And I've been having trouble with USPS boxes not being glued very well here. So you can see I've put some tape. But when I was working inside, I didn't like the way this was pressing out, so adding a little more. All right, on the bottom, I'll write the first and last initial of the buyer. And I can find my pen. Spawn out to SE in Georgia. This five count lot of Made in France Luminarch by Arca Rock wine glasses with green stems paid $5 at the restore and they sold on offer for $30 plus shipping. As much as I'd like to wrap this entire glass right now in my foam wrap or even tissue paper, truly the most important thing I need to do is protect this delicate stem. And for that, I'm going to take a half sheet of bubble wrap. This is the large bubble wrap and I'm going to wrap it around the stem. Now, it looks like I have it a little too long. I need to cut it down just a little more. So it takes slightly less than half sheet. Let's see what we can do here. I'm going to tuck it inside gently, get it started. Being very gentle and add some tape. So let's go ahead and finish this one glass to see what we're going to do. I have a hollow area, which you know I like to fill. Now let's see if I can use this foam wrap. Again, being very gentle, pulling the bottom up, taping it, just using masking tape. And then let's tuck this inside. It's not going to fill it completely. And you know I like to have that filled completely. So I need to add something else. I think I will use some tissue paper today for that. I'm going to cut this into thirds. I hope it's going to be enough find out. It's pretty good. All right, I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of them. Let me show you one more and I'll fast forward. Okay, we did decide this was a little bit too wide. Need to take a little more off. Make sure your tape is pressed down and the top, fold it over and tape. Okay, always odd numbers. Don't feel like you can't buy glasses though and sell them in odd numbers. You know, sometimes I like to sell them in lots of two for replacement, but lately when I have five and to try to get the sale a little higher, I just sell all of them I, instead of worrying about individually. Individually isn't worth it at all, honestly. So let's see here, what do we have? About 12 inches, about seven inches high. I can probably put these in a 12 by 12 by eight or I decided to go with a 12 by 10 by 8 eBay box instead so I can use a little less packing material. Let me get it assembled. I apologize that my last video clip was corrupted so I couldn't show you how I finished the packing, but keep watching. I've added one more. This buyer 
sent me a message asking me to be sure to pack carefully to send him the tracking number. This is a vintage dish. It's by Hall, H-A-L-L, -L, made exclusively for Westinghouse. So we have the dish and we have a lid. And it sold for $20 plus shipping. I partially wrapped the lid just for storage. I'm going to redo it now. Let me show you what it looks like. There you go. I'm sure the part that breaks is this handle. That's probably the part that breaks the most. Okay, so because of that, let's give this a little extra protection. Just using that small bubble wrap that I took off of there, off the lid, cutting a strip of it. I'm not sure if this is long enough. Find out, I'm going to fold it in half, see if I can get that to wrap around a little extra. It will wrap around, but I'm going to try fold it. Now, obviously this isn't going to stay on here by itself. I'm going to tape it here and I'm going to use some regular tape. I'm going to tape, I'm going to tape it on. This tape isn't going to hurt anything. It'd be easy to take off, but I did go a little too long on it. A little extra cushion to start out with. Sorry about the glare. Let's wrap the outside first. I think it's going to take two sheets of foam wrap. And I'll be adding more protection. Just pushing that to the inside, but I still have to fill that hollow area. Let's try some bubble wrap first. Using bubble wrap over paper because it's lighter. It's looking pretty good. Now let's work with this lid again. Let's wrap it in some foam wrap. Taping it this time. Put some tape on it. And I'm going to go a step further and add some bubble wrap. This piece that I took off isn't long enough. I have a sheet of small bubble wrap. Now I do have this hollow area here too, but I think that will be okay. I'm going to turn this upside down, a little piece of tape. Now these flaps, I think I'm just going to leave loose. Let's do a test fit here. This is feeling pretty good, but let's set this aside now. I might fold this slightly inside. Let's give this guy a little wrap and some small bubble wrap. It will get large bubble wrap in just a little bit. Fold this in. But before I tape it, I want to test fit this, turning it upside down. It's a little bit high, too high. See that it's rocking? So I have too much filler in here. I think I can use half of this. Fold this in again, tucking it in. Now let's test it. That's a lot better. Do you see, it's not rocking. My table's rocking, but this isn't rocking. Right, I am going to put just a little bit of tape here to hold these flaps in. So this is what I'm going to do next. With a very long piece of masking tape, I'm going to tape the two together. Let's see, does that work? Yep, that works. So anything I can do down here. I'm just gonna put a little tape on each corner. It doesn't cover the ends completely but I can still put a couple pieces of tape. Gives a little extra cushion to the bottom corners. All right, we are ready for large bubble wrap. I decided to put my thank you note on the inside here. So I have two sheets of bubble wrap, actually four sheets. Two sheets going one direction, two sheets the opposite direction. I'm trying to center it up, pulling these ends up, and then folding this up. And add some masking tape. And a long piece on each end. And I'd say it's pretty well protected. Still press this down a little bit in the center, but there's going to be more packing material in the box. Let's take a measurement. I'm within 12 and I'm within eight, but the height. Height is about six. Let's get a box. I'm going to use an eBay box that is 12 by 10 by eight. And of course I get these boxes with my quarterly coupon to get shipping supplies. Time for our test fit. This box is going to work perfect. I've lined the bottom with some of my air pillows. Now I did four and I did two singles. Now you could say that this could be a little bit wobbly because of the difference between the four this direction and two this direction. But I'm going to add a piece of scrap cardboard and we're going to place it this direction. Let's check this out and see how that stabilizes. 
the uh, dish in the box. I'm going to use up some more of these air pillows that came with my Amazon order for shipping supplies. My Amazon affiliate links for my shipping supplies are in the description below the video. And no, these are not the air pillows that I like to use. I like these air pillows. I really am not crazy about these here, but I'm going to use them. And I'm going to fill in with mine. Mine meaning the ones that I like to use. All right, this is looking pretty good. I need something on top. I don't know if air pillows are going to fit or not. Yes, they will. In fact, I think three. Maybe one on each side, at least one on the side. Let's give it a shake. Oh, that feels really good. I'm going to get it taped up and in the mail. If you enjoyed this package ship video, I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon. Simple sales for good profit.